that changed. So we're going to look at oil today. Big move up on the open yesterday, obviously, after the geopolitical uh, events of the weekend. We saw a gap uh, over 2%. We did keep rising to be over 5% for the day here on USO, USD, which is WTI crude oil. Um, having a look at the chart here, we can see that uh, we have been in a pretty good uptrend since June. Very strong uh, as respected these channels until we saw this kind of extremely overbought level on the RSI coming into Thursday, um, September, late September. This drop here pretty much uh, was in line with those surging US yields as well, as um, higher yields is, is a fear the economy will slow down. But where to from here? We look at, obviously, geopolitical risk is the main driver for oil at the moment with uh, what's going on in the Middle East that could, doesn't affect any oil producers just yet, but there is that chance that uh, countries like Iran, Saudi Arabia um, may get involved at some level, which which is why this kind of risk premium has been baked into oil at the moment. A couple of interesting technical levels too. We can see where this, uh, this down drop here, if we look at the Fibonacci levels, um, we've hit that 50% retracement back on the way up. 50% I find is that it's probably one of the best Fibonacci levels to use. And uh, it, you can see that it actually has whether by chance or not, been a big resistance level there. You can see this a bit closer to on the hourly chart when we uh, we really are just bouncing along this 50% level. This will be a key level. It's around 87.12. Um, if we can get above hold and that becomes support rather than resistance, uh, certainly another move up on a, on a technical view is possible. Um, everything else will be the fundamentals. So the news of what's happening in the Middle East, whether there's an escalation or um, things hopefully calm down a little bit, will, will be a big part on oil this week. Also, we have a CPI report out of the US as well. A lot of this bounce in oil is on the uh, assumption we're going to get a soft landing in the US and the Fed's going to be a little bit more dovish going forward. So watch that CPI on uh, tomorrow as well. But um, this level here, the first one to watch, 87.12. Next level up to the upside, where we were in that 89, where we had some support back in September.